Howdy, hi everybody. What I'm thinking about doing is uh, killing the, fighting the jelly monster, hopefully killing it. Uh, I have gone exploring though, so we're uh, not on the semi-home world I have. However, any plan it will do, I would think. Uh, let's see, where's home? Are you home? Yeah. Now I kind of lost track of things because uh, I've been having troubles and don't starve. So uh, with the computer crashes and all that. So yeah, we could warp home actually. Maybe. Well, that's kind of a trip. Oh, okay. Cool beans. Okay. Uh, I've been fighting these guys. It's been a while since I've been in the game because of those aforementioned problems. There's some gnarly monsters over that way. Let's uh, head this way. I did kind of a... Uh, special about I haven't played in days uh, if you're thinking about buying the game you should really look at forums and stuff like that and look at the PvP aspect of the game I'm not sure what the final game is actually going to turn out to look like I'd Hate for somebody to watch me have good, hot fun and good times in the game and then uh, find out the highest level you're pretty much tied into a PvP thing that you don't want to be part of. So. Come on, fatty, get some. I don't know if I ever said get some in a video before. But it looks to me like when it's finished in Sector X, you might have to be part of an organization. I'm not sure if you could just uh, have your lone spaceship or not. It looked to me like you might have to join an organization and somehow uh, get access to a ship that way. Now, it could be said, well, you ought to do all the research for all that, but that's kind of not what I do. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to spend hours trying to figure out whether I can, uh, in the final version, I can uh, fly solo if I want to or not. Uh, what I am saying is, you before you buy the game... Uh, the beta on their website, there's a thing if you page down far enough, just go to their website. Uh, there's a thing that talks about they just kind of uh, threw a lot of this together in order to have a beta playable game. Uh, what exists now. And... Uh, I think, well, I don't know, it might be better to get past this. And that the final uh, format's going to be quite a bit different. And Sector X is uh, default PvP. And there's stuff that says you don't have to PvP if you don't want to. It's an uh, option. But... Uh, It seemed to me you had to be part of what was called in Warhammer a guild in order to get access to a ship. Now, I could be totally wrong about that. It's just uh, I can't find one way or the other. And like I said, I am more interested in playing the games than uh, spending a lot of time searching through forums to find that particular piece of information. But... Uh, If anybody knows, I'd really love to know one way or the other. And that is, in the final version, when you get to Sector X, can you just plug into the game and go fly around by yourself? 
will you have a ship and all that kind of stuff and uh how does that affect your interaction do you have to be part of an organization and uh because it talks about you know i don't necessarily want to be following somebody else's instructions that's been in the game longer than i have well anybody whether they've been in the game longer than i have or not You know, I did my online time with Warhammer, and it was, uh, we won't go, I'm sure everybody that's done online PvP has their own experiences and probably has far more experience than I do. Okay. Um, actually, I don't think there's much left to do but to do it. I don't know what time of day it is. I may have screwed this up by waiting too late in the day. I don't really want this fight to be at night. I don't know. I might go ahead and throw torches and go ahead. None of the boss fights have been very uh, memorable anyway. And I think that may be why the boss fights are so uh, kind of bleh. Is just because this is a wasn't intended to be the final version of the game. Alright, I got two weapons. I guess I should have talked to you about that. Uh, and I thought this Tesla cannon was better, but it's only 69 DPS. Now one's 67. I've got this thing that's like a rocket launcher that's uh, gracious. I don't even know. 300 DPS. But it's a real slow rate of fire, but I don't have enough energy total <laughs> <laughs> to even use the thing. <laughs> so, uh, the Tesla cannon gun seemed to use less energy. But, uh, it also seemed to have a limited fire range. So, we'll just, ah, uh, we'll see how it goes. I've lost one boss fight. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Don't get me wrong. It isn't something I want to do, but... Okay, where's my uh, widget of widgeting? It's right there. And there we have it, the peanut butter thing. And we have to activate it. I have to pull my head out of my rear end. Okay. Uh, cred muffins and pickles. Let's do this. Let's see. We want to be on. Let's see, which one's my four? Wish me luck. What the hell? Oh, that looks like we could just whack him, doesn't it? Now, Wiki said to concentrate on the main one, but this guy's kind of in my way. And it says if you kill the main one, these guys are still here. I think it did. Well, I'm not mad about that at all. Come here, big guy. Don't die on me, Danny. Where are you, big... You know what? Uh-oh. I'm taking more damage than I thought I was. Uh, I'm going to post this on uh, Death Even 13th site. And I'll try to do some. Uh, if you don't know, Death Even 13 is my son, and he's the one that did all the checklists that I follow for uh, gameplay, uh, for making, well, that I used to follow for making videos anymore. I kind of know what I'm doing anyway. I don't know any of the tech side, but I know how to, which buttons to push and when.
I think this one just makes you feel good because you got something to look at while you're uh, not doing any damage. Yeah. Don't die on me, Danny. But anyway, Death Even 13 is on kind of an extended vacation. It's it's not really a vacation. He's doing uh, some personal stuff. And uh, so he asked me to put some stuff on his site, up on his site, so it would have some kind of uh, con continuity, ongoing whatever. Die, foul, purple beast of the night, or day, or, or other worlds, or... I've catch uh, some of the old Lost in Space episodes. Anyway, I was going to put some uh, Starbound just by running around, adventuring, and mining, and doing stuff like that on his channel. And, uh... Come out, coward. But that way I could tell stories about he and I and old times or whatever. Die, foul beast of outer space. Oh, anyway, uh, Lost in Space, the old episodes, comes on. And it's kind of, I loved that show at the time. I love it now. Oh, you Mr. Jellyman. Get out here and get killed. Danielle fell, fought into the dark of the night, fighting the foul jelly beast. It's a jelly rancher from space. Aha, die, foul jelly rancher. Endomorphic jelly and jelly. So evidently we're hooked up for a space contraceptive. Ha ha. If you're not old enough to appreciate that, don't worry about it. If you are, don't worry about it either. So anyway, we beat the foul jelly beast. But I can't do the my son's commentary. We have a similar style of humor sometimes. But, uh, you know, people watch channels kind of for commentary. But I can tell stories about him if I think of any. <laughs> Ain't that a bit. Uh, now, I'm not sure. Oh, I think... I don't know. This is the last mentioned boss at this time. Now, remember, all this is going to change. It says there will be one star map. Now, I don't... See, that's kind of vague to me because you could say there's only a star map now. It's just split into sections. So, do you mean we won't have alpha, beta sectors? Or, you know, what does one star map mean? So, it's just so much there. I don't know. And anybody that's been in forums, been a forum rat, and I don't mean that in a bad sense, would probably know one way or the other. But I'm curious as to how single player carries on in the finished game once you get to Sector X. Is the the that's the big sandbox? Can you run around and play and and build your world and all that stuff, or? Can you back off to a lesser level or I don't know. I just don't know how it goes. Because some of the pathways they're talking about are being like being a rancher or being a farmer or, or building houses for people to live in. It doesn't seem like that would work in, in a PvP environment because, you know, people would be working with their own organization. So I don't know. Is it like the Warhammer guilds or, you know, a lot of questions there. But I've, I, you know, personally, I'm in it. Well, I enjoy the game, but I also make videos, and I've had, I've definitely got my money out of it. So, but some people are kind of fussy about where their game ends up. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, you know, oops, why are we? Oh, there we go. 
I was going to say, you know, the easiest way to get back to, and I don't know what, oh, crud, I didn't even think about that. We need to head on home is what we need to do. I don't even remember what the hell I was doing here, but it's not all that important. Oops, don't want the fuel. Come on, work with, damn you. Danny. Okay. Now, it seems to me it was cheaper to fly around within your own solar system, or within the one seg section, whatever, one of these, before, than it, within, than it is now. But it, seems, it costs you, I guess, 200 to fly just to a different star. I didn't, I don't know if, I, it seemed to me like it was cheaper, but maybe not. It seemed to me like the big jump was between, the big expense was between sections. So anyway, uh, shoot, where are we? Uh, I think that's where we want to go. And I'm sure I'm on the planet. Okay. So we're at what, 505? I'm pretty sure it costs 50. Yeah. And I know you can look all that up, but it's like, eh. Kind of believe in, like, if I'm in Don't Starve and I get hungry, I eat. I'd like to have a kind of a ballpark feel for things. Most of my fuel is for chopping wood. I did it from chopping wood. I did look at a uh, forum uh, thread about uh, getting coal, and <laughs> the advice was chop trees and dig. And evidently, there's uh, areas that might have more coal than others. It seemed kind of, seemed to me there might have been more coal in the early going than there is now. I, but that just may be the luck of the draw. Now, obviously, you can modify your ship a lot more than I realized at first. I was kind of fussing over storage space, and it's kind of, these little things are just a real jewel. You can uh, cram a lot of stuff in one of them. Or you can build them up to have a lot of stuff in them. Home! Home, gems. Oh, I don't... I was going to make a place on the boat. This is the world with the boat. But now I don't know. That, I don't want a big, big, uh, big rear-ended piece of film here. Now, this is my little sky thing. I don't, I assume I've shown you the building of this by now. Kind of a hit on film. There you go, and off we go to our ship. I didn't even look. Let's go back. Go back. Oh, I can't go back. Okay, never mind. I know I haven't done anything in the ship. Get rid of F. That's F. And that's that sky rail thing. But I kind of, I don't know, this ship actually is kind of a pain in the butt. It looks cool for a base, but all this nonsense is a little bit... Yeah, I didn't do anything up here. I could leave it as home world for now, though, and uh, steal everything out of it later. I guess you could build the boat somewhere else, actually. Uh. When I was fighting, the uh, aerial critters were beating me up almost as bad as these guys were. It's a really cool boat. A really cool map. We ought to take the map for sure in case something bad happens, like I don't come back. You never know. What looks cool at one time doesn't later. Get rid of that. That was one of the ugliest fights. There were some critters that seemed to me that could have... Like darn near one hit, man. I'm hesitant to say one hit because what seems like one hit may not actually be, for me anyway. Meaning I may have been a little bit lower than I thought. I've had been fussed out. Well, that wasn't actually a one hit. And I was like, yeah, it was a not very many hit. How about that? Oh, I've got nothing here. Ooh, I planted what? What did I plant? Wheat and corn. Okay, so we got stuff to pick up, but really we can build our crap anywhere. So maybe we should go up to the... Yeah, all it's here is the cooking. I don't know if my... Uh, Starship is set up for, uh, I don't know what the next thing after the jelly man is. I definitely want that sky rail. Where I need a base is somewhere where there's iron. 
Okay. What do we get? We got endomorphic jelly. Um. Uh, gosh, and this is a webcam's a bad format to be doing this in. Uh, star map upgrade four is the one we're on. That was the dragon bone, and that's the sky rail. Well, there's a Durastil tech uh, upgrade. Wait, is that it? Oh, that must be it. So we need uh, uh, unlock sector and the ability to work with age assault. Some of this stuff, it's like, give me a break on these names. You know, Mithril is as complicated as I want to say. Uh, found on level 5 planets, and we're on level 4, so... Okay, so what we need is... Uh, 31 Dura Steel Bars. Oh, and we have the Jelly Mines. Oh, I should read that. I'm sorry. Let's uh, read that before I give up on the webcam here. Well, you know what? Let's read the. Uh, let's read this first. Okay. Oh, well, are you? And I need some soda in my in my. And there's probably a bunch of these I haven't read. I picked up a bunch of crap from uh, USCM stuff. Let's look at that first. Humans are a strange species, equal parts territorial and adventurous. They are somewhat unpredictable to deal with. They seem to have only the most rudimentary understanding of other species in the universe and a childlike desire for knowledge. The latter trait makes me consider whether they might be valuable allies. Scouting parties made up of people who are too driven to give up but too naive to understand what they find. I will speak to Big Ape and Thornwing about the possibility of meeting with uh, human delegates should one exist. Okay. Now we need to do the Jelly Boss. Ugh. Oh. Mr. Jellyman. Jelly, a staple at children's parties, a tasty, wobbly snack, a fun food for all the family. At least that is until it sprouts eyes and tentacles and tries to slaughter you. No, no amount of ice cream will make up for being eaten by a ravenous, gelatinous glob blob. This horrifying mockery of a dessert descends from the skies, wibbling and wobbling its little jelly shot sidekicks, ready to provide backup. It was your fault, of course. You laid that peanut butter trap. Everyone knows peanut butter attracts jelly. The worst part is... This jelly doesn't even taste nice. Nobody knows where it came from, what its goal is, or what flavor it might be. I think it's probably poo flavored. A florin once claimed it tasted like chicken, but nobody is sure if a florin really knows what chicken tastes like. Actually, everything tastes like chicken to a florin. Uh, plus, chicken jelly... Let's not make this any worse. Yes, that would be nasty. There is chicken jelly. It's that, ooh, never mind. Congealed comes to mind. The only way to deal with this jelly is to stick a fork in it and declare it done. And by fork, we mean sword, axe, or spear, or shoot it, or fire arrows at it, or blow it up. Anything that results in the jelly exploding into horrifying, sticky globules counts as a win. Fun fact. Fun jelly fact. After the human's first encounter with this creature, a fight broke out in the U.S. CM barracks when some of the soldiers referred to it as jelly and others referred to it as jam. In the end, the commanding officer decided... It was called Brian. Uh, when I first saw that about the wobbly jelly, it was uh, the guy that uh, uh, that was watching the uh, well-developed lady walk away from him and said, "Got to be jelly, cause jam don't shake like that." Okay. Enough of my perverse thoughts. Not that I think that. Uh, 
<laughs> Not that I think women are perverse at all. So anyway, what did I need? I needed, I don't even know. I think I needed Durasteel. I may not. I cred muffins. Like I said, this is not the best format to be boosting around in this. I may uh, just, the intelligent thing is to bail and come back with uh, just fraps. That's what I was thinking of, is that's what I need the matter blocks for. And I have I have looked in compounds and not found the whatever things to do them. I probably need titanium in one of it. Oh, crap. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't have a... What you call it? A, <gasps> oh, excuse me. Uh... uh a forge set up here so all right what i'm going to do is i'm going to bail and i'm going to come back and we'll uh, do the stuff to move on so i don't know i could leave this as home world until i decide to uh go to uh back to alpha or beta to uh collect collect iron ore which at some point i'll have to do so anyway, thank you all for joining me, and you all take care of yourselves. If you're on the kids' station, I'll, I, it wasn't my intent to put up every episode or to do a chronological order of these. I was just going to show some random adventuring and see if I could think of something to talk about that has to do with the kid. I don't, I don't know if that will work out or not. I, uh, we may just be doing some random adventuring. We'll see. I'll try to think of some things, and uh, if I don't, I don't. All you can do is try. All right, y'all take care of yourselves, and uh, Danny and I will be back.